Hey guys, how's it going? Ryan here, and welcome you guys to something different, something new to the team building series that you know we do here on the channel. Because of Halloween, I thought, why not do a Halloween type theme team builder? Couldn't really get my words out there. Um, so all these Pokemon are going to be Halloween uh, based Pokemon. Uh, but just quick disclaimer before we get underway, uh, this team's just for fun. It's not the best team that you can use going through the game. There are so many different teams and Pokemon around Halloween uh, that you could make. Uh, these are just six that I put together uh, that are actually accessible in Ultra Sun and Moon. Um, and uh, I'll explain the reasons behind some mons aren't in the team. And that's mostly uh, the reason most of them aren't in either because I don't want to do dual typing or they're literally not accessible without trading in the game. I could have done a separate where literally every Pokemon's available to you. You just have to trade it. But then everyone would be on my case and sort of blah, blah. But it's all good. So all these mons are accessible in Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon. You can actually go through the game using this team. Wouldn't probably recommend it. I really wouldn't. There are some mons in here that are just yeah not up to par for taking on that. Spoilers, uh, Ultra Necrozma thingy that you have to beat because he's just fucking ridiculous. But I am going to get into a few honourable mentions. So the first set of honourable mentions we've gone for are Crobat, Garbantula, Honchcrow, Houndoom, Delphox, and Lycanroc Midnight. Lycanroc Midnight, of course, represents a werewolf. Uh, Delphox, uh, I was talking to uh, people about it, which represents like a wizard. Um, of course, Houndoom is a hellhound. Honchcrow is a crow. Uh, Garbantula, of course, obviously, Dirt is a spider. Obviously, people find spiders scary. And, of course, Crobat is a bat. Crobat we didn't use because we have another poison type. Garbantula, like I said, Joltik isn't accessible in Ultra Sun and Moon as you trade. Uh, Honchcrow would give a different dark type. Uh, Houndoom again, dark type. Uh, Delphox isn't accessible in the wild, of course, being a starter. And I could have gone with Lycanroc Midnight form, uh, but like I said, that's version exclusive, and I've used it recently. I used Lycanroc recently in Team Builder, so I wanted to make it quite unique, a kind of new uh, Team Builder. That's the first set of honorable mentions. And then the second set of honorable mentions is literally every ghost type. The three we've got on the screen are perfect examples. Uh, Giratina, because it is uh, literally the... Devil Pokemon, at uh, least you search Devil Pokemon, it comes up with Giratina, he's the uh, ruler of the Realm World, or however you want to call it in Pop and Platinum. Of course, again, it's a legendary, and you don't really use legendaries in-game. Gengar, because he's the OG ghost type, he is the ghost, he is my boy, Gengar is amazing. And Pumpkaboo, because of pumpkins, you know, um, uh, it wasn't accessible in the game, like I said, I wasn't able to, it's not, you can't catch them in-game. Um, but of course being Halloween, pumpkins are a massive thing t during Halloween and carving pumpkins. It is a pumpkin Pokemon, uh, but it's definitely an honorable mention. Uh, if you if you are going to be trading mons across and different things like that, there's so many different teams you can do. That's what I'm saying, this team is just one that uh, you can actually use in the game. But enough of the honorable mentions, let's get into the team. So the first mon on the team, and straight away you're probably thinking, what, how the fuck is this based off Halloween? So the original idea for this was to really go with like a Halloween costume type thing, and we needed a starter for the game. You don't actually have to use a starter, there is one of the mons on the team you can get really early, so you can swap it out straight away. Like I said, it's just fun, this isn't serious, it's, it's, just, it's just a bit of fun for Halloween. Um, so we've got a Primarina off the scent of a mermaid. Uh, I've uh, been to a fair few Halloween parties and people do this mermaid. Obviously, Disney Princess Ariel is a popular uh, Disney princess, so again, mermaid. And in terms of like looking at starters, I really couldn't see. Like, there's probably one right in my face that's like really obvious as like a possible Halloween thing. I'm trying to think of them now, and I really can't think of anything. Um, especially if, if we talk about Christmas, I can definitely think of one that we can use. Um, but yeah, so we've gone with Primarina here. Sparkling Aura, Moonblast, Psychic, Ice Beam. I didn't make the mis a mistake this time of giving it Surf in in instead of Sparkling Aura, so you can use that. Uh, Z move timid because its speed kind of sucks. Um, so and you're not gonna be using a physical attack. Uh, like I said, it's really good in terms of like Halloween base. We've gone with the mermaid type theme, uh, and as you know, you get it uh, as a starter. So it's definitely for Ultra Sun and Moon. Uh, you can use it. It's weird really trying to talk about like a team builder but not be serious about it. Like I talk about how great Primarina. I think Primarina is great. Talk about how good its stats are. Con two six special attack, one sixteen special defense. It's great. I'm trying not to be serious though, thing because it's a bit of laugh. It's a nice bit of thing for Halloween. Uh, solid move set, of course. Stab, Spike Normal, right, Moonblast, Psychic for Poison types, Ice Beam for Grass types. Perfect coverage, perfect one to use in the team, and it's probably one of the members on the team that you really will want to utilize to its best ability. First team member in this Halloween. Ah, uh, why the fuck did I do that? Uh, type for team builder, it is Primarina. Moving on to Pokemon number two, we have Lopunny, and in terms of Halloween based, uh, we thought of again going back to costumes, a uh, Playboy Bunny. Um, so, one word of advice. If you're a graphics designer and you're just doing things and Lopunny just happens to be in your team, do not search Lopunny artwork. 
you will be very disturbed. Unless you're into that shit, I really wasn't. And it was just really fucking disturbing. And just, I, I just, I just didn't want to go there. And so, in terms of in-game compatibility, uh, Lopunny's not that bad. Um, its stats are overall quite average. Um, its speed helps out really well. Base 105 speed. Um, if you can get the Mega Stone, do it. Um, like I said, I'm not very familiar with Sun Ultra Moon, so um, that's why the main team builders haven't come out yet. Um, but I feel like Mega Evolution is a thing in Ultra Sun Ultra Moon. I think it's more post-game stuff. Uh, but then it evolves with happiness, so that's a certain aspect of it. Return, high jump kick, bounce, quick attack. Its moveset is booty. Um, return, of course, stab, high jump kick. Why not? It hits hard. Bounce, why not? Because it's there. And then quick attack for priority. Adamant nature, boost up that 76 attack. For some reason, that has really good defenses. I didn't realise, actually... Like, it's HP lets it down, but like, 96 special defense, that's not bad, it can take a special attack quite well. Uh, it's not going to be taking uh, many physical fighting type moves very well, but hey-ho, that's why the bounce is there to stop those fighting types, hey-ho. Uh, but yeah, in terms of like, just Halloween-based, uh, we went with, uh, again, costumes, and a Playboy Bunny, and just different things like that. With the more mons that come in throughout the team builder, more Halloween aspects will come into play. Um, but yeah, the first two are more costume-based. Uh, and like I said, Playboy Bunny, and it was something that you could get really early on, uh, but you can catch Baneri on Route 1 or 2, I believe, in... So you can get it early game, so it was sort of one of those things where you just add it on the team uh, straight away, just quickly as possible. Um, it's, it's, it's a decent mon, uh, especially if you get the Mega Stone, it becomes very, very good. And like I said, I couldn't go with Egg moves or Move Troop moves against it. If you want to go Move Troop moves, it gets access to Elemental Punches and uh, Egg moves, Fake Out and stuff like that, just certain moves that it, it, it can get, that gets it really well. Um, I feel like it sort of isn't like the shooter moves after doing like the Mantine uh, surfing stuff, so actually you may want to look into that, because you can get the element of punches and it can make Lupin actually rather decent. Um, so, you guys look into that itself. Like I said, it's just a bit of fun, it's not a serious team builder. Second team member, uh, it's Lopani. On to the third team member, and we're going into the Halloween type thing now. Halloween Umbreon. Black cats are known for being, or as I say, bad luck. Kind of bad on my part, considering I own three of them. So my bad luck is just skyrocketed. I've always had like a black cat, to be fair. Like I grew up with a uh, black cat before he sadly passed away. Then uh, about a year later, we got another three. Um, so um, it's always been uh, looked at as bad luck, and I, was, I don't agree with that in the slightest. The only thing about this is Umbreon is actually my least favourite of the evolutions as well. Uh, don't get me wrong, this thing is on the team for pure and utter fucking bulk. Um, I've gone with Toxic Protect, lol, because why not? Uh, Psychic and Dark Pulse. Dark Pulse is, of course, Stab, but Psychic is for those fighting types. Uh, but, but we're going with Bold, which ups the defence, lowers the attack. We've got no physical moves on there. Uh, once again, I couldn't go Egg Moves and stuff like that, so I, I probably would have gone Wish Protect Toxic. Uh, with Dark Pulse, if I could have done that, I would have gone for Wish as well, so just complete and out of bulk. Uh, I know you can get Eevee quite early on as well. It evolved another one that evolves with happiness. Uh, I feel around if I do another season's one, if we do a, va a Valentine's Day, I think I'm going to do a whole team that evolves with happiness sort of thing, because uh, I think that'd be quite uh, a good thing to look into. But this, like I said, this thing is just absolute bulk, and in terms of in-game, Umbreon is actually really solid. I know I said it's my least favourite, but all the evolutions are really, really good Pokemon. Um... And like I said, for just utter and pure disgusting bulk, Umbreon is just perfect for that because it just swallows hits. And then because it's in-game, you can use fucking potions. You don't need to click Wish, you can just click a Hyper Potion instead of clicking Wish and just like, lol, fuck you, I'm healing. And um, yeah, so it's great in-game. Halloween, Black Cat, Dark Type. So I wanted, you need to get a Dark Type, you need to get a Ghost Type in there. So all of it all comes together for Halloween. Uh, it's a fantastic mon. Try and get a Shiny one if you can. Shiny Umbreon's fucking lovely. If you can't, obviously don't worry about it. Um, uh, but yeah, fantastic mon, uh, even though it's my least favourite, <laughs> but it doesn't matter. Third team member, pure and out of bulk, it is Umbreon. On to now then, the ghost type of the team, and before anything is said, I just want to say you can use any ghost type in this, it works, it's Halloween, ghosts are scary and spooky and shit like that, you can use any ghost type in the game, like I said in the honourable mentions, it really doesn't matter. For me, we went with, as you can probably guess by the thumbnail and the background, we went with Bennett for this one. Uh, I was going back and forth between Bennett uh, and Miss Magius, and literally the reason we went with Bennett over Miss Magius is I couldn't find a good picture of Miss Magius for the thumbnail. So we put Bennett in the team because that image, for me, just was really eye-catching and really well. And it's a solid, uh, solid, solid mon. Um, in terms of move pole, this thing has a terrible move set, but it's just for fun. So who really gives a shit? Uh, so, shop it to Bennett, level 37. We've got Shadow Claw, Shadow Sneak, Willowist, Phantom Force. 
Uh, you could uh, get rid of that for Gunk Shot. I uh, saw Gunk Shot and it could be like a really massive fairy wall. Uh, you could go for that. Like, I really like looked into it, but that's the only really reason you'd have Gunk Shot is just to be a fairy wall, which is, if you want to do that, fine. Will-O-Wisp is going to just burn things and half their attack. Shadow Sneak's priority. Shadow Claw is obviously a physical stab. One base. One base? Base 115 attack. I just can't speak. Uh, it's all the Halloween. I'm getting scared and shit. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so looking at a team... Uh, any ghost type works. I went with Bennett. Shout out to my boy Alex. Um, so Shadow Claw, Shadow Sneak, Will O' Wisp, Phantom Force, Jolly Nature to boost up that 65 base speed, just to boost it just above 70 uh, or around the 70 mark, just to get it on par with uh, things in game. Like I said, it's an in-game team. It's not serious. It's a bit of fun for Halloween. Uh, so if you do want to try this out, uh, I feel like it'd be a really good laugh and a really good try. And that Shadow Claw is gonna fucking whop that fucking Ultra No Cosmo. Like, get fucked, Ultra No Cosmo. Especially if you get Mega Bennett as well. Like I said, if you're Mega, you've got the chance of Mega Low Punny and Mega Bennett, which would be uh, solid because Mega Bennett hits like a fuck it, it's a glass cannon. But absolutely fucking just smack something straight in the fucking mouth and it would be great. Um, so, yeah, brilliant team member. Like I said, any ghost type is available. You could use Gengar, you could use Miss Magnus, you could use Bennett. There's so, so many more I could a name that you could lose. Uh, lose, use. Uh, but for this, we've just gone with Bennett. It's solid. It's fourth team member. Use it if you haven't. Bennett. On to the fifth team member now, you guys. And we have what is classed as one of the biggest phobias in the world today, which, of course, is arachnophobia, a fear of spiders. Now, me personally, spiders don't bother me. Um, I'm okay. As long as it's not a massive, hairy fucking tarantula, then I will be up out. Uh, of the room if that turns up but for this we've gone with Ariados uh, if you saw that if you've been watching the uh, honorable mentions we did have Galvantula in there I did originally want to put Galvantula in there because I think it's just a solid better mon than Ariados um, but like I said you can't get Jolted or Galvantula without trading so I didn't want to have that aspect um, if I did have the, uh, the free range to use any mon possible I would have had Galvantula in there but looking into Ariados and this thing isn't as bad as I originally planned and what I thought out to be uh, thanks to uh, Gen 7's new leech life, uh, means that this thing gets stab leech life, uh, gets HP back, has access to Stored Stance, Poison Jab, and Slano Sneak. Uh, Jolly Nature speed lets it down like base 40 speed, it does let it down. But you can set up a poison, uh, you can set up a poison jab, you can set up a Sword Stance, and just poison jab and leech life things, and they will die. If you get hit once, but you set up a Sword Stance, go for the leech sheet. You can live another attack, you get all that HP back, because you've just done a, a, a times two fucking stab leech life to hopefully something you're hitting super effectively and you get all that HP back base 90 attack is decent it's near the 100 it's decent 70 HP 70 defenses average very the, the standard average it's fine don't worry about it Aridos is just the middle par mon that I feel like needs a bit of a chance you could go quite funny and go felt stinger and try and like fucking kill something with felt stinger and have your attack raised to max and then just absolutely sweep uh, that's if you can take the hits because you're slow as shit. Uh, but yeah, just in terms of like Halloween, I guess spiders are considered scary. Uh, they're, they're not even Halloween based, just spiders in general are considered scary. Like I said, arachnophobia is one of the biggest phobias in the world. A lot of people suffer from it. Um, so that is why Aridos is here. If you want to go a different spider type mono, like I said, there is Galvantula as well. Uh, but that involves trading and just different aspects of it. Uh, but for this, we've got Aridos. He's solid. Really seriously look into it if you haven't already because I feel like he could surprise a few of you with uh, his in-game capability. And again, ultra, uh, uh, fucking Ultra Necrozma, Leech Life, fuck you bitch, you can get smacked. Fucking three mons in a row they are going to smack up this Ultra Necrozma, he's going to get fucked. He's the fifth team member, it's Aridos. Moving on to the final team member then you guys, we have our bat for the team. Bats are considered of course part of the uh, Halloween type thing. Uh, vampire bats and stuff like that. Uh, originally, of course, the original bat is, of course, Crobat, and that's why he was in the honorable mentions. But I don't know why I'd have dual poison because uh, of Aridos. Um, so, in terms of bats, we thought, oh, there's Noibat and Noivern. I've never used Noivern in a team before, so why not go for it? And this thing is fucking powerful. This is your member of a team that is going to absolutely wreck house. Vol's late at 48, so you will want to be getting it later on and try and uh, XP share Lucky Egg that thing as best you can. Hurricane, Dragon Pulse, Stab, Boom Burst, base 140 move just hurts everything. It's like having Earthquake, but a bit more on something that isn't Stab, you just do. And then Flamethrower for those pesky Ice types, if they do come along. Uh, it's, that's, it's not a pseudo, but they're solid across the board. 85 HP, 70 attack, do not worry about that. We're going with the Modest Nature, 80 defense. Modest Nature will boost that special attack above 100, which is great. 80 special defense, defenses are solid. And then that base 123 speed. This thing will outspeed everything all game. 
like guarantee. So again, going back to the Ultra Necrozma, you do need about speed, uh, go for a timid nature on this thing, and then if you just need to get rid of it, right at the end, just click that boom burst and get the, the fuck out of that. I'm, I'm talking about the Ultra Necrozma a lot, I don't know. It's scary mon, it's Halloween, Ooh, it's fucking scary. I don't know, it's one of those things where uh, some of the ones in this team are good, some of them are bad. Depends on your opinion on them, it's just a bit of fun. Uh, I've never used Neuburn in this team before, so I thought, fuck it, if we're going to go for a bat uh, type team, uh, we needed a fly up, we didn't have a dragon type, dragon's the best type, obviously. Um, so I would chuck Neuburn in there, and he's going to be solid, he's going to be the sweeper of the team, if you just need a quick sweep right at the end, if things are low on health. Uh, it does a great job, uh, that is our team, it's the sixth team member, we have Neuburn. So there you have it guys, that is our Halloween theme team for this year. If you want to see more season theme teams in the future, make sure you let me know in the comments section below. Like I said, it's a bit of fun, there are so many different teams that you could do revolving around Halloween. So make sure you let me know yours in the comments section below, you could go mono dark, mono ghost, anything like that. Uh, before this video ends, I just want to say to you guys, uh, when it is Halloween, please make sure you stay safe. Uh, stay as a group, if you're going out trick-or-treating, make sure you know your local area well, and the people that you're going up to don't uh, harass anyone if they don't enjoy Halloween. I know certain people that don't enjoy Halloween, uh, me included, I'm not the biggest fan, but this Halloween, me personally, I'll be going to a nice big Halloween party, so hopefully my opinion will be changing it there. But yeah, just stay safe when you're out uh, trick-or-treating, guys, or anything like that. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed the team. Primarina, Lopunny, Umbreon, Bayonet, Aridos, Neuburn. Like, subscribe if you're new, uh, and my final word to you guys is just, Happy Halloween.